All right, I'm off, exiting the bustling town of Joseph. A little different than the other day, but I'm I'm going lighter. Got a little bit different different plan. Still heading up that way. A few clouds, but I should be good. Looks like a good window of weather here. So, can go a lot quicker today. Coming up and get back to here, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, here's a look at the route uh, with the overview of the profile here. Ends up being a total of 150 miles um, and 22,561 feet of climbing total and uh, maximum elevation top of Sacagawea 9,738, minimum elevation 1,472. Shown by the yellow line here, you can see it going up to the top of Sacagawea and then uh, biking across the valley and dropping down this long climb it drops down to Imnaha and then uh, Merciless uh, right down in the bottom there is Imnaha and then this Merciless climb up to Hat Point uh, and then it goes along the ridge forever and you get to Hat Point on the bike which is right at the top of the yellow line right there and then drop the bike and descent down to the river. You can see it right there. So this is Hell's Canyon. And hike back out again, get on the bike, ride back to Joseph. All right, I am heading up there. Looks like a decent amount of snow has come off. Got shoes strapped on. Traffic's a little feisty today. Gotta get away from this crowd. Hopefully they're not all at the trailhead. So perfect temperature in my mind, 60. 55 to 60 I think is optimal for performance and still being able to go lightweight with gear. Got my pole just in case it gets hairy on the last part with the snow. So we'll see. I'm carrying all the way up there. Hope not to have to use it. All right, here's the turn. All right, got a quick transition here. Okay, there's the stash spot. Figure the human stench will mask my the smell of my food on my bike so the bears will stay away smart huh it's thinking pretty quiet compared to Saturday here okay I'm starting it took me about 30 minutes to get here I'm gonna start the run up the trail start my timer all right two days ago I was on a lot more snow up here things are looking much more doable. A pretty good time coming up this. Let's see, not at the top yet, but 219. I think that's more than 10 minutes over to the top, but normally I could get there in 10 minutes. I think there's a little too much snow. We'll see. All right, just about to the top out at objective one. Oh yeah, there is a trail melting out. Wouldn't want to slip and go that way though. 
Maybe I'll get my pole out. Well, I was wrong about that. Only took about five minutes to get here. This is a summit, isn't it? It better be. What's that point over there is? Oh yeah. Where there's a cross, there's a summit. At least in Europe. I guess these are the Swiss Alps. That's bull. These are the Wallawa Mountains. Ah, there's the old Matterhorn. Someday I'm gonna come ripping from there over here and pull this off. Wow, feels good. Look at this. First day of fall. Comfortable, short sleeves. Does feel like it's about 40 up here, maybe. But no wind, that's the key. Ah, oh, yeah, sweet summit. All right, I'm not gonna hang out here long, take a couple of pictures and then I'm out. Look at that. That cliff face. Got some ridge running here. This is an amazingly good surface. I've been going fast. Be careful there. Yeah, I am bombing off this mountain. Really good. Doesn't look like it probably, but it is grippy. Partially because it got some rain yesterday and the snow just came off. So this moon dust soil is really grippy. All right, I gotta put the camera away, get some speed going. That was one leg busting descent. I'm almost about a half mile, I think, out from the trailhead. And then I got some pedaling to do before I bed down for the night. But that was a rough descent. Didn't take too long. I think I'm on a little over an hour and a half, but I was running a lot of the trail. And it was downhill, just pounding. All right, almost to the bike getting a little bit of rain on me and I just had a stop strapped on the gear the raft paddles food bag flat snowing we're gonna be riding in the dark here pretty soon but a little bit ahead of schedule not bad for a little bit of late start just munch a bunch of food back there including just finishing an apple. Feeling pretty good, legs are good on the bike. We'll see what this 6,000 foot plus climb does. Maybe it's five, I don't know. We'll see, but I'll be grinding that out in the dark. Hopefully that doesn't head my way. I'm not fully prepared for rain. Anyway, beautiful evening, leaving those mountains behind. Heading for some mountains you can't see. There's some cloud cover on them right now. It's been a cold, windy night right there last night. About to off over there. Alright, we'll see. See how this goes. Dropping down. That's the ridge I want to go up. Not that optimistic right now about going up it, but See when we get down there. 
trail's not too bad. Expect to be hopping more logs. I'm descending down this, I don't know if you even call it a trail. Almost to the river though. But this trail is rough. Half of it was pretty, actually most of it is pretty brutal. But it is a trail. I mean, look at this switchback. I think. No. <laughs> this is it here. Okay. We'll see. Should get to the river soon. That up there was a brutal stretch. I'm at the river. Kind of going back to scout. Turn the camera on a second. Brutal, but I made it down here. Doesn't look like I'm gonna cross. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go scout it out. Finishing here at Saddle Creek and watching off my feet, watching out for snakes. And then I'm gonna climb back up out of here. I think the route just ended up taking me too slow. There's a point I think I was gonna go for it, go across the other side, but uh, at least I scouted now. I think a good spot to put the uh, wrap in and also I'm going to try going back a certain way that might make things a whole lot quicker getting down to the river so I'll uh, see how that goes going out. Okay right now it looks like I'm getting out of here without seeing any snakes. And, uh, well, I did see a lot of poison ivy. In fact, that's what thwarted me. So right down there, I pretty much got it all scouted. It's gonna be easy crossing. But, not today. So, let me explain. The objective of the project is to cross North America's deepest canyon, but do it from the true high points on either side. So it was an epic summit yesterday of SAC and I rode through the night. Oh, it was merciless that climb up to half point. I just didn't have the gearing. So there's two things I need to change up. One is dial this. I just swallow the bug. Dial this route right now, which I'm gonna reverse, because that cost me hours. So I gotta fix that problem. And then, um, I need to get the gearing for that climb. So, at this point, well, and then there's another iteration of the, the whole project I won't go into right now, but I'm pretty sure at this point, got it I gotta scale that ridge too which is epic but I haven't done that yet but I'm pretty confident that 
and then the rest of the climb will go well. So maybe, I mean, right now it looks like a year from a year from now. I think this is a good time here to do it, but I got some changes to be made. So it's productive scouting mission, I guess. All right, got a descent. Kind of finalized my journey. It was a good, nice warm night at the, uh, the lookout. Helped me out a lot with uh, the one that runs Hat Point. Michael, he's great. I talked to him quite a bit to get some info on this whole trip. And then last night he put me up, gave me some nice coffee this morning. Cooked up some great pancakes last night. So I am well rested for this descent. And it's just warm enough. I should be plummeting down to where it's really warm for this time of year at least. Only a few more hundred feet of climbing. Been catching a tailwind up until now which is very welcome up this paved road, which I'm pretty sure is one of the longest paved climbs in Oregon if you do it from the proper bottom, bottom end of the pavement, and take a left up here, keep climbing up to the summit. Fortunately, I am, I don't need to go up to that summit. I'm gonna take it stay on this and uh, yeah I'm actually feeling pretty good for how much climbing I've done already the legs have been strong I think that coke and butterfinger I had in Imnaha is really sticking with me really nice people down there in Imnaha. And after hardly seeing any traffic, now I'm starting to see some. All right, almost there. Well, I can't believe that's it for climbing. That's it. Interminable amount of climbing. And I'm done. I felt amazingly strong coming up that climb. I don't know why I felt so good after beating my legs down yesterday. So I started over there, ended up going way over there. You can't even see over there where I went. And I just got a little downhill and run into town. That's it. Ding my rim really good. I assume that was, and maybe it wasn't this trip, but Good thing I, I just noticed that now and it held up. That could have been disaster. All right, I'm gonna finish this off. Ready for it? Last pedal stroke. That should be it. I'm coasting it home. Should make it. I might have to do one more pedal stroke. Maybe not. I think I got it. Anyway, that's all she wrote for this year. Probably try this again next year.